Hey, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberona here again, and today I just have a quick beginner's breakdown on uh, how to use uh, the Tempest class effectively, and what it means to uh, be a Tempest, and, you know, just a little breakdown of um, all the things you can do and all you get for playing Tempest, and so basically with Wind as your main gauntlet. So, the basics of playing Tempest, obviously you're going to have the Wind Gauntlet, so Wind Shears are going to be your main weapon at the beginning of the game. And so these are very rapid fire, um, definitely the most rapid fire weapon in the game. Um, and for that reason, they don't do much damage. But you can, you know, if you throw a bunch at the time, you know, you get the damage that um, other gauntlets would have gotten in one attack. Like if you do like two or three, like, and they all hit. Um, so you know, you, like every time you attack, you're just gonna be like throwing them out. You can hold it down, and it'll do them like kind of automatically, like you do to do. But I think you can actually do, like. Actually, it's about the same speed if you keep if you click a bunch of times. But I just like to um like to click for each time I do it because then I have more control over how many they actually do. And like if I just want to throw two out or three out, I you know I can click three times and it'll put three out rather than just like holding it down and like you know just yeah. But yeah, they're very fast. They tra like have no arc and they travel very quickly. So you know you can just like always be throwing these out and they're very easy to use in a fight. They have decently large hitboxes for the, what they are. So you know they're. It's pretty easy to use in combat, you know, you just need to make sure you're not holding it down too long and, like, be careful of your mana, because it's easy to use it up, because, you know, you can just throw them so quickly and just run your mana out, like, instantly. So yeah, those are the basic weapons, and how does it actually change when you're, um, Tempest, is that if you shoot them at the ground near your feet, this happens. And this is really cool, and this is what make this is what makes and breaks Tempest, and what makes it such an awesome mobility class, is that if you throw these at the ground, they launch you into the air, so without jumping. So I didn't do any jumping there. So even after that, I can like do a big jump. So if I want to jump, I can just like just do these, and then it's like way less than an actual jumping. And I can just travel along in the air and just throw these wind shears shields at the ground. I mean shields, shears at the ground, and I can basically like nearly just fly. And um, one thing you want to keep in note though is it doesn't really work on um. Oh, it did work there, but a lot of um curved surfaces like this like hills and stuff it won't work very well on so like if i oh i can't even go there for like things like steep hills and stuff you can't actually like they won't propel you in the air on so you have to keep in mind they work almost exclusively on flat land see like they don't really work here they don't really like launch you very far it's kind of awkward so yeah if it's but like see when we go onto flat ground i got launched into the air so yeah these are just really awesome for moving about you don't have to be walking on the ground like a noob you can just fly wherever you want to go and be in the skies like an angel. See, that was like on flat grounds and it didn't work. So yeah, that's the basics of Tempest, is that you just, you know, and if you want to move fast, I believe it works better if you do it this way because um, then they're actually pushing you in the direction you want to go. Because if you do it here, it does actually push you slightly backwards. But if you do it this way, it will push you backwards again. But that's actually the direction if you, you're wanting to go if you're walking backwards. So yeah. That's the basics of the movement and how it changes, and so you can move around a bunch super easily, especially if you like a spring step, you know, you don't, you can, you can spend the entire game without like touching the ground if you do it correctly, because your mana comes back after you do the two things, so you can just keep flying around in the air, and like, like a bird, just, and then if you see your opponent, then you're like quickly you just rapid fire and throw a ton at them, but you do have to be careful then, um, for that same reason though, because, uh, if you're attacking an opponent and they're close to you, you are going to get launched back with them. And that can be kind of awkward sometimes. So sometimes if you're in close quarters, like in a building or something, and you like attack someone, you're going to get like awkwardly launched back from them just because you're, you're throwing attacks at them. Which uh, yeah, can be a bit strange. But yeah, these attacks are very good, and they're also very good for mobility in, in this uh, class. Uh, so, what changes as you level up? Well, we'll just quickly talk about those because they're not too complicated. I'll just quickly grab these level up icons. So the first one, you're immune, immune to your tornado pull, and it puts you in the air. I'll talk about that. It's really cool though. This one, basically, once you're in the air for a bit, you, you know, do some more damage. You, you take less damage when you're staying in the air for a bit, which is very easy for you because you can stay in the air basically the whole game. And this one, when you're in the air, your sorcery cooldown speed is a lot quicker. So basically, once you've gotten like the upgrades and it's getting near to the end of the game, and you know you've gone to new zones and stuff, because that's when you get the abilities, you're basically like just gonna want to be staying in the air like as much as possible, because you get all these buffs from being in the air. So I get more damage, 
I take less damage when I'm in the air, and also my sorceries come back a lot faster. So see if I attack her while I'm in the air, they're doing a lot more damage than they were doing before. I mean, not a ton more damage, but you know. Like a decent amount more. Like they were doing, what, like nine or seven before, and now they're doing, you know, decent amounts. And I'm also taking less damage when I'm in the air, and my sorceries will come back faster. And now that we're talking about sorceries, the first thing you actually get, like apart, like when you move to the next zone after the zone comes in, the first ability that you unlock is the ability to basically ride your tornado. You don't get sucked in by it, but if you walk into it, it launches you in the air, like super high. And yeah, it's really fun. I love it so much. So <laughs> if you're like trying to like go off of a, like, like go off a cliff, you know, get some good movement and stuff, you can just be, you know, running about doing your thing, you know, walking, and then you're like, okay, I want to go, I just launch myself into the air, and you know, you're moving super fast now, and you've gone like so high in the air, and you can just, you know, it's really cool, I love it so much, and if you are using it offensively, like if you're using it, throwing it on your opponent, like, they're gonna get sucked in, and you can throw things at them really easily, and you can actually like go into the air, so it's really hard for them to hit you, because you've just gone, like, launched into the air, and it actually can happen twice if you land back on it. So you're like bouncing around in the sky super high up, but it's really easy for you to hit them because they're stuck there and you can just shoot all like your stuff from above. And you've got, if you've got other classes like fire or ice, you can easily load up some shots while you're like floating in the sky and get some high damage on them while they're stuck in that tornado and you're flying above them. Uh, yep, yeah, and um, obviously um, you can see once I'm in the air, my cooldown for my... Um, sorcery is actually a lot faster so you can do it so many times you know throw that out again and it comes back really quickly just because I'm staying in the air a lot and like by the time I like do a few jumps and land on the ground I can basically do it again instantly so yeah really good mobility stuff with the Tempest and I really love how like how much you can just launch yourself around and do crazy things uh, yeah so that's the basics of how your weapons are gonna work your sorcery you know it's a good tool you can throw out uh, at decent distances, like, yeah, okay, that's the max. But, you know, if it hits your opponent, you can't really tell here because I'm in training mode. But it, oh yeah, no, it did it. So it sucks your opponents in and they get stuck in the middle. And then if you have other gauntlets like fire or something, you know, you can bombard them while they're stuck in the middle of that tornado. And you can just hit them super easily. It's kind of like the, um, I almost see it as like a better version of the, uh, the, fr uh, frost gauntlets, uh, sorcery. Because it, like, holds them in the middle and it comes back a lot faster and it has a bigger hitting and you basically just get some free hits off. It doesn't do any damage, but it is very good at synergizing with a lot of other elements like fire or toxic or even lightning, And but we'll get to that a bit later. So yeah, basically this is, it doesn't do any damage, but it holds them like basically in place and you can get some attacks off. And as we've figured out, you can, you can actually jump and, you know, get some more mobility off it as well. And it combines very well with other things. And that's where you're going to get most of your combos with um, Tempest. So, Let's quickly start with tombo, uh, combos and talk about what you can and can't do. So, there's a few gauntlets that just absolutely do nothing with Tempest. Uh, those are stone and ice, uh, frost gauntlets. So if you're playing Tempest, like you're not going to have any interactions between your, your ice gauntlet and your, your frost gauntlet. Like, you can throw a thing down or even like you can do your um, sorcery with frost. It's not going to do anything for you. There's no point doing it. And actually, usually if you do a sorcery or um, an ice thing into your tornado, it'll like cancel it sometimes. But if you do the sorcery, it cancels it. So they, they really don't have too much synergy and combos together. So yeah, that w earth and frost gauntlets don't really work too well. But all the others are pretty awesome. And we'll start with um, lightning, because I feel like it's the most tame. But that certainly doesn't mean it's bad. So... How does it synergize? Basically, if you throw out the tornado, because that's how you can be synergizing everything, if you throw that into it, it's going to become a lightning storm. And, oh yeah, it's not really going to affect me because um, I'm immune to it, but I'm pretty sure it just shocks the opponent. It's not going to do any damage, but it's going to make it, you know, a shocking lightning cloud. So not only are they stuck in the middle of this tornado, they can also not um, attack or, like, do anything if they're shocked. Yeah, so see that they're shocked in there. And so they can't attack you, they're stuck in the middle, there's like really nothing they can do. And so you can just get some like free attacks off on them. So you know, I've made a tornado, oh, if I was in the air it will come back a lot faster. Okay, there we go. So I, oh, that's the wrong sorcery, but uh, anyways, we'll do that. Um, if I do this, and then I quickly shock it with lightning, they're going to be stuck there for a bit, and I can get some attacks off while they're like stuck in the middle and they can't attack me, so yeah. 
It's just like you can get some like easy damage in on your opponent if you manage to get those two joining together, and that's ba the basics of those synergies. Um, fire, pretty obviously, and I'm sure you've all seen this because it's like one of the most iconic combos in the game. It makes a fire tornado, and this is just gonna make it so the tornado you can't really see it too much when I do it because I get launched into the sky, but when the opponent gets sucked into the middle, they're gonna be taking a bit of damage from the tornado as well as being stuck in the middle. So not only if, like are you hitting them with um, your, like, your fire gauntlet or stuff, they're also get taking some tick damage from the tornado and getting stuck in the middle. So yeah, that's basically that. And yes, you can ignite it with your sorcery. Um, same with lightning, by the way. If you did your lightning strike sorcery, it would work. So yeah. And that this, this is actually really good with um if you do the sort both these both source oh my god hello <laughs> if you do both of these sorceries at the same time it's actually really effective because the tornado can actually suck in opponents into your firewall not only are they burning from the firewall they're also burning from the burning tornado and they're stuck there in the burning tornado and the burning from the firewall and you can throw things at them so if I do something like this I'll do something like this. They're sitting in fire, they're sitting in my tornado, they're burning so much, and I can throw things at them while they're stuck in the tornado. So it's just a way to get a big chunk of damage if you get those two sorceries going at the same time. But yes, that is a bit of a hefty price because you're using both of your sorceries in one attack. But if it works, it works, and it does a lot of damage when it works. And next, toxic. Last and last, but not least. So, same thing. It's all going to be with the tornado, but you can just make it a toxic tornado. And... Basically, same as fire, it's just going to hurt the opponent while they're in it. And I think it actually does a bit more damage than the uh, fire gauntlet did, because it was just like, it only did, what, like 4, or like, um, up to 10 damage, I think, at max, like, of, like, ticks when they hit them. But I hit, oh no, it's the same. So yeah, fire tornadoes and ice tornado, uh, fire tornadoes and toxic tornadoes are quite similar. Um, I just want to test, actually, I don't, I'm ha going to have to be quick. But if I put out a tornado and it's a toxic tornado, can I set that on? F if w could like a teammate set that on fire with a fire gauntlet? So I'm just gonna test that. So if I put that out, I, I make it like this, and then I launch that at it. Oh my goodness, that is awesome! Oh my god. So you're not gonna be able to do that on your own unless you've got like um, other gauntlets handy. But <laughs> if you are with a teammate or someone that's using fire, and you like like get um, someone else like stuck in a tornado. And like you quickly like you know toxify it so it's instantly toxic and if they throw a fireball at it it's gonna do a, like a bunch of explosions they're gonna get stuck and get hit by the um toxic fire which does a ton of damage in this game and yeah wow that's that's really cool and the tornado is there for like quite a bit so you know you can like put that out turn it to toxic and you can both put in like a few hits and then he throws in the fire and then does the big explosion and that's gonna be a ton of damage on the opponent so yeah that's really cool and the same thing basically applies, um, uh, it'll do the same effect if you do your sorcery into it, I believe. Yeah, it'll just make another toxic tornado. And But it's not as good as the uh, firewall combination because the toxic cloud actually does disappear. And I'm just going to test quickly if you, um, oh, come on toxic cloud, hey, wait, if I jump in the air it'll be faster. Yeah. So if I throw out the toxic cloud and then I throw a tornado onto it, will that... Yeah, okay, it just turned into a toxic tornado. Oh, it's a purple fire. I don't know what that does, but maybe it's a bit of extra damage. But yeah, basically that's um, that's how you're going to be uh, playing with them um, as a... Oh my god, Tempest. That word keeps escaping me for some reason. And actually, when you're playing with Tempest, if we're going to quickly talk about runes, because it's such a, like, a, a good like agility and mobility class, like you can instantly like launch yourself into the air like super quick just by doing two flicks into the ground. So you really don't need, like, you certainly don't need a spring step rune, and, it, and even a, um, oh wait, what's, what's this one called? A dash rune. Like, you don't really need those, because you can move yourself pretty quickly, like, and there's not really too much need for those, because you can do it, like, for free and, like, not do anything. So a lot of the time when I'm playing Tempest, I'll take a rune that's, like, either invisibility or, um, teleportation for, like, the really long distance moving. Um, like... I also, like, never really take a feather pull, because you can launch yourself into the sky pretty easily, or, like, especially with your, um, this, like, your, that's basically a feather pull right there, and you bounce on it twice, so, like, it's almost better than a feather pull. So, yeah, usually I take invisibility, you know, for some sneaky stuff like that, um, and I don't really take any of the small agility ones. Sometimes I'll take a flight, because, you know, you can move really quickly, and it's a lot faster than you can actually normally move. 
um, or teleportation or you know shadow step is also really good or you know of course wolf's blood rune is also very useful but yeah like <laughs> you can stay in the air for like so long with this class especially if you've got a flight rune like that just makes it even crazier and, like if i summon this here and i fall into that and i get launched into that like there's just so much you can do with this it's ridiculous and, you know you keep flying around on this and then i put this down launch me in the air again I do this again and I'm flying around you can move around the map so quickly like if I had done this like whole situation in a straight line like you can move to the other side of the map like super fast it's so, like and then I place this down underneath me it launches me in the air for a big boost I keep doing some of these I get my flight rune and I do go a quick like huge flight over to like here and I've gotten to like the other side of training mode like instantly and I can do another one of those and you know your stuff comes back really quickly so you can, like, even if you want to, just, you know, throw out some other sorceries on any, like, people you see, like, past as you're, like, traveling around. And so, yeah. It's just crazy mobility with this class, and I love it. And, uh, yeah. So that's all I have to say in my, uh, quick Tempest breakdown for beginners. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.